welcome back. Today, candied yam muffins. Yeah, let me grab this can. Bruce's candied yams made into muffins. I'm gonna start with my liquid ingredients, my wet ingredients, I should say. And then we'll start adding the dry. It doesn't take long to put this together. So let me move the camera so you can see what we're doing. All right, recipe calls for three eggs. I've got three large eggs and they're at room temperature. They've been out for about two hours. I like to have everything same temperature when I'm baking. I just find it works better for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, that's the way the old dude has done for years. Works great. Okay. So I'm going to take and mix this up. I love using my wooden spatula that I made in high school. Just get it mixed up a little bit. There's more wet ingredients gonna go in. Now this can says it's 29 ounces, one pound and 13 ounces, but I drained the liquid out of it. And there's 16 ounces of potatoes, sweet potatoes or yams, whatever you want to call them in here. So I've got the liquid. I retained the liquid just in case. I need the muffin mix to be a little bit more wet. So I'm going to take these yams, of course they're already cooked. Take a potato masher. There's no oil in this. I use applesauce. Good enough right there. I've got eight ounces of unsweetened applesauce. That's natural applesauce going in. And remember, I've got the juice off of these yams. If I think it needs it, I, I don't believe it will. I mean, it needs to be, the batter needs to be wet enough you can scoop it out. And uh, not pour it out, but you can scoop it out into the muffin tin. Let's see what I'm gonna put in it now. I don't want to put my cinnamon in it. I'm gonna put uh, uh, take the lid off here. One tablespoon of cinnamon. I don't want it to hide the potato flavor, but I, you know, everybody knows that cinnamon and candy yams are, are brothers by another mother. So, and let's get the sugar in. Brown sugar. That's what I use. It's going to take two cups of brown sugar. Yeah, if you think I don't have a recipe, you're right. I made this uh, with pumpkin. I made it with apple one time. So. There's one cup. It's not packed full and it's not packed. It just, just scoop it out. It's close. As long as it's close, it's good. Needs a little bit more to finish that cup out. There's the other half of it right there. Let's 
two cups of brown sugar. Like I said, if it gets too wet, we've got the juice off the candy jams. This is mixed up good before we put the flour in it. Yep, make a mess over here. Oh, that's okay. That's what dish towels are for cleaning up messes. All right, let's see here. Let's do a taste test. Yeah, I put the eggs in it. I know they're okay. Don't do this at home. Just because I do. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's good. Very good. You can see it's pretty liquid. I don't believe it's going to need any extra but you never know. I'm going to just tell you that tastes really good. All right. I'm getting ready to do the flour. I don't have any self rising flour. This is what I usually normally use. So I'm going to use all purpose flour with a little Clabber Girl baking powder. The recipe to make that is one tablespoon less of a cup. Of, so regular flour, a tablespoon less of the whole cup to uh, one tablespoon of baking powder. So that makes one cup total. So in my case, uh, the, the two almost full cups and the two tablespoons of baking powder. I'm gonna, let me get another bowl. Mix that up. I'm going to make sure the baking powder is mixed up really well. And I'll bring you back here in just a minute. All right, let's get this flour mixed up. Got another bowl. This is new. I didn't even open it. So, I'm going to grab and put it in two cups. flour, all purpose. This my Boy Scout water cup. It's one cup exactly. That's a little shy. That'll make up for the two cups there. So, we want one tablespoon less we want one tablespoon less of each cup, so that's easy enough to do. There's one. There's two. Go back in the flour sack. All right. Now, I'm going to replace it, the ones we took out. with two tablespoons of baking powder. Make sure your baking powder is up to date. 99% of everything I've ever seen, they're always, uh, it's always located on the can somewhere. Let's see what this one says. I know it's not old because I bought it not long ago. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, best if used June 6, 2025. I think I beat that date. All right, so you just want to whisk that around and make sure it's all incorporated really good. You don't have to sift it because we're sifting it right here with this mixer. 
This makes it light. There's no clumps. You'll notice the flower gets real, real fine looking when you do this. All right. Let me clean up my flower before my flower before I push it all over the place. I try to clean my messes up as I go. I make the messes, I clean them up. Yes, I'm married, but my wife does not make the mess, so she's not going to clean it up. I am. It's just the way I roll. I do the, I do the crime, now I can do the time. All right, so she's cleaned up. Ready to rock and roll. Give this one more good stift. All right. Start pouring this in. A little bit at a time. I've got several other, several other method, muffins. Yeah, I can't even speak. Several other muffin recipes. But this is the first time using candied yams. I wanted to use them because of the, uh, I didn't want them to go bad. They were bought for last Thanksgiving when I was baking uh, sweet potato pies and stuff like that. So. Ready for it. A little bit more. Got one little bit left in here. About a half a cup left there. I've already got my cupcake liners in the muffin pans. So let me get this mixed in and I'll bring you back. I was going to get this stuff mixed up. And I thought I would show you what I have to do when it starts getting heavy like this. As the people that's been following me for a long time, you know I had a heart event about a year or so ago. And I don't have a lot of strength, but I'm coming back. And I've got the attitude, never give up. I'm 71, I came home in a wheelchair, I'm now walking, talking and cooking, sometimes talking too much, but, so what I do, I've got this drawer pulled out, my, my drawer that's got spatulas and all kinds of stuff in it, it's my, it's my helping hand, I don't have to worry about, I mean, I could, I could stir this up standing up, but, uh, I've just learned to use this little bit of helping hand to do it, and yeah, it's going to be just fine. I don't believe I'm going to need any other liquid in it. I may. We'll see once I get all the make scrape the edges, make and all the bottom. Make sure you get all the flour mixed up. on the side here. From the taste of that while ago, boy, it's going to be good. Right. You see it, it, you can see it's not 100% mixed up. There's some, I don't know if you can see this, there's some little pieces of potato left in there. It's just going to melt down when I cook, of course. All right, let's see something. I've got a scoop here. This is a half cup. And I've got it sprayed with butter spray. We'll do a test run and see if I, if I can uh, put my drawer in my helping hand as I call it. If that will feel and if, if the batter is wet enough to pour out. Oh yeah, perfect. All right. So let me get this out of here. Let me bring you right back. I'm going to stand up to do this. 
All right, let's get back with it. Field, get these filled. This half cup measuring cup is going to be perfect for these. I've been known to make some fatties when it comes to cupcakes. Hey, who doesn't like a fat cupcake with a big old uh, top part to it? I think years ago I watched a Seinfeld episode and they were baking something because everybody just wanted the fat part of the top. And they tried to bake just that, so. I think it was Seinfeld. If y'all remember that episode, <laughs> let me know if I'm right or wrong. Maybe it's, maybe it's somebody else. I try to put the same amount in every one of them. Makes a prettier presentation. Part of these are going to be given as gifts, thank yous. So, uh, my wife has an appointment with her. Hold on, let me find it. Your nose and my EMT. Cindy. Cindy, yes. What's Doctor Moore? Is he a, a, a ear, nose, whatever? Ear, nose, and throat. Yeah, Here's ear, nose, and throat. throat. And uh, I had trouble, um, anyway, uh, ear, nose, and throat. She's got. She's got to go get her the wax removed from her ears in the morning. So. I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe she'll maybe she'll get to hear me. Maybe 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 I don't want her to get it. I, maybe he'll he'll say, "Oh, we can't do it." No. Well, I've said on different videos, and we did a video. Matter of fact, she was going to Tara one morning. That's her audiologist, and uh, she has hearing aids, and so. Uh, Tara works for Dr. Moore. So we're going to deliver them some cupcakes in, in the morning. Shoot, I still got a little bit left. Let's see if I can go backfill some of these. I don't know if that's what they call that backfilling, but. I think that's a term that's used in dirt work. When you're backfilling the the hose, the, the line where you put the, you want to put a pipe down. Yeah, this is going to work out good. So we're going to have a few that are fatties. Muffin tops. which is different than a muffin top I, you hear people talking about. All right. Maybe. Don't want anything to go to waste. All right, who needs another shot right here? All right. Yeah, I stood up as long as I can stand up. So, oh goodness, I'll just pant these, pack these down like this. Get these in the oven. 
should be about 20 minutes at 300 and my oven about 315 because my oven cooks really hot and I've got my oven preheated to 315 and I'm going to put these back in and or put these in I should say and I will see you maybe 15 to 20 minutes when they're all done when you can insert a toothpick and it comes out with just a little crumb you don't want it totally dry because you don't want to bake the moisture all the way out but you don't want to stick it out and it's like wet batter on it a little bit of wet crumb that's good back in just a little bit all right you can hear my shut up my timer going off it's dead burn it's hot check the fat one here Oh, they're ready. You can see just a little bit of crumb. Little ones are for sure and very little crumb. Well, let me get these out of here. These are pretty and it smells wonderful. Here we go. The Muffin Man is back in town. Oh yeah. It's going to be so good. Maybe I need a song, The Muffin Man. Here comes The Muffin Man. I'll let these cool just a minute and I'll give it a, a, I have to, you know, I have to do this, a taste test. Somebody's gotta do it and I guess it'll be me. All right, let's do a taste test. And you know one thing about it, if you want your wife to help cook, clean, make her muffins. So. Oh, is that part of the deal? It is. Well, luckily I've already cleaned up my own mess. Oh, so. good. Yeah, I thought you'd I'm say I'm just that. here to test. You're, you're just a test person. Yeah. All right, test this one. Okay. I'm going to test one, too. They look yummy. They smell. They smell yummy. I'm going to take the small and one And I here. bet they are yummy. So we'll see. I'm glad I know the Muffin Man. Yeah, I told them that. And there needs to be a song, The Muffin Man. There yeah. is. Do you know The Muffin Man? Oh, is there? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you know The Muffin what, Man? What show was that on? Like? It's a, a child song. Oh, well, no wonder. I'm not a child. Well, you, you must have missed that day of school. The bottom is good. It's not burnt. 350 degrees. Mmm. Yummy. Nice and moist. Mmm. -hmm. You see little flecks of sweet potato in mm -hmm. there? Spice just right. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I need now? What? Mm. This is really good. Mm. I need a glass of buttermilk. Yeah, I know I'm old, old school. I'm, I got some milk over there. I, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want. Oh, this up. is. Gr oh my gosh. I want buttermilk. It's delicious. Good. So does that mean I'm gonna go get you some? Yeah, that'd be great. You know, go get me some. Yes. I got my milk waiting over there. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll get you Thank buttermilk. you, ma'am. Appreciate it. What do you want? Are you talking to my dad? Hey, is he here? My dad here? Oh, just He said, kidding. sir. I'll go get it for you. All right. Thank you. I'm going to pour me some buttermilk. Low-fat cultured buttermilk. Hey, way I'm before, not. I know you don't drink that, but way before all this gut health stum stuff came around, there was buttermilk. It's the perfect gut health. If you like yogurt, that's like, that's like buttermilk. Do I need to get, oh, you got it open? Mm -hmm, thank you. Oh yeah, let's see here. It's thick and rich, oh man. Nothing like an old country boy eating buttermilk and a piece of sweet cake or muffin or chocolate cake. I mean, to me, that's the deal Lucille. So this is to y'all. Hope you bake these and uh, share my videos. And it tastes great. I'm glad. I hope it works good for your blood sugar because she's a diabetic. Um, if you have any questions uh, after I put this video up, and you know how did how did her do for her blood sugar? Uh, just ask the questions and we'll get back with you. And because she's gonna check it, what about an hour? Uh, two hours. Two hours. She'll check her blood sugar. And um, my blood sugar was rather low, so. So the perfect time to do a muffin yeah. check. All right. Well, thank you very much. Share my videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. We can always use those. Bye bye. See y'all later. Bye. Enjoy.